A recent string of vandalism at Latter-day Saint churches is raising the question, will Utah's new hate crime statute change the way these recent crimes are investigated and prosecuted? ABC 4's culture and religion correspondent Andrew Reeser looked into it and reports. Under Utah's new hate crimes law, vandalism or arson against churches could be punished more severely. In the last seven months, there have been a number of arson and vandalism acts against Latter-day Saint meeting houses. These kind of cases uh, victimize not just one person, but a whole community. And Jeff Hall, chief deputy with the Salt Lake County District Attorney's Office, says offenders, if caught, could face stiffer penalties under Utah's new hate crime statute. We would uh, determine whether or not we could prove beyond a reasonable doubt that not only did the property damage occur uh, or the, uh, the underlying crime occur, but the reason for the crime and that the crime was committed because of one of these uh, personal attributes. That is, if the vandalism or arson or other crime occurred because of a person or group's race, religion, ethnicity, or sexual orientation. It takes the offenses up a level from Hall couldn't comment on recent cases like yesterday's vandalism of a Latter-day Saint meeting house in Harriman and swastikas, racial slurs, and other threatening graffiti found on Harriman High School. Seriously, uh, something that we will aggressively investigate and prosecute because um, whether it was intended as a joke or not, it's plainfully offensive and, and needs to be dealt with. And local prosecutors say they're watching these crimes closely, too. As the crime becomes more severe, the punishment uh, could be greater. In Salt Lake City, Andrew Reeser, ABC4 News. And Utah's hard-fought ex hard expansion of hate crimes punishments went into effect in May.